Hey dolls, it's your girl Denisha or Pretty Denny, whatever you guys want to call me. I'm coming to you today with my washing goals tutorial. Dun, 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 dun. I'm so excited. So, um, pretty much this is the routine I always use. It's definitely helped my hair grow out a lot. So I want you guys to use these products and tell me how they work for you. Um, so yeah, enjoy. So I just took my braids out from under my wig. Now I'm just, you know, playing in my hair, checking my length, uh, seeing where everything is, making sure my ends don't feel dry, broken. Uh, they feel pretty nice, so I don't have to clip them. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and shampoo and condition my hair um, and bring it back to life. So now my hair is freshly washed and conditioned. Now I'm gonna put some deep conditioner in there and um, take a steamy shower. Now I'm gonna be using Ion's Deep Daily Conditioner and some silicone mix. And I'm gonna focus that Ion on my ends since it is for colored hair. So I'm gonna make sure I saturate it very well. Uh, don't be shy when it comes to conditioning your hair because it is very thick and coarse and curly. So we want to make sure that everything gets covered um, and everything is saturated. So that's what I'm doing here with the Ion. Um, and soon I'm about to go in with the silicone mix and do the same. I'm going to start the silicone mix in the roots. So I'm going to go from the roots down um, and working all of those conditioners in together. Making sure I get the edges as well. You don't want to forget those on the back of your head. Now we're ready to add our products. So as you can see, the hair is freshly hydrated. It looks gorgeous. Now I'm just going to seal in those beautiful curls. Mix chicks, leave in, holy grail. I think everybody needs a bottle of this. It's not cheap, but it is worth it. I'm just saturating my hair with this on each side. You really want to work this through. Make sure you spray some water so that you can allow your products to spray it easily throughout your curls. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to be brushing from tip to root. Just making sure that I'm de-shedding and detangling my hair completely. So it can just dry beautifully. So that's what I'm doing on each side. Now I'm taking some jojoba oil and I'm gonna be putting that on my entire head very generously. Uh, this is the moisture that you need to soften your curls after you put styling gel on it. It's going to also add shine, bounce, and just life to your curls. Like you definitely can't do a wash and go without oil. It's impossible. Now I'm taking my aloe vera gel. This is a dietary supplement, I know, but you can use it pretty much for everything. Um, so I'm trying it on my hair. Um, and I have to say, I love the definition and lightweightness that it added to my curls. Um, it also gave it a shine. Um, it, it's just awesome. Like, definitely recommend trying this. It's good for your hair. Good for your scalp. It's, it's definitely um, a benefit more so than anything. Now I'm adding my Coconut Eco Styler Gel. And I'm not adding much of this, uh, but you can add as much as you want. All these products are based upon that person that is using it in your hair type. So um, you can add as much as you want. It's to your discretion. Um, but you want to make sure that you're not leaving any residue in your hair because you don't want your hair to dry white or anything like that. So that oil definitely helps with that as well. And make sure that you're gripping the ends of your hair, making sure you're really curling the ends and pinching them with your fingertips. 
so that you create those small curls. You want to kind of shingle your hair and separate those curls. You don't want big chunky curls. You want separate little small curls. Now I'm just going to spray a little bit more and uh, go through my curls just a little bit more. Make sure that I just have one thing. Um, and then I'm going to scrunch. Scrunch the ends so that you know that your ends are completely good and they're sealed and they're not going to be poofy. Uh, we don't want any frizz. Now we're just going to blow, uh, blow dry on a cool setting. I do use heat uh, when I'm in a rush and I'm trying to stop the drip so I did do that since I was going out and these are the results my hair is still not completely dry the middle is pretty damp still but uh, this is the results uh, once it fully dries and you slept on it a couple days it gets to be gorgeous but yes, look at that definition. Yes. Oh, honey. And this is me the second day wearing them. And all I did was wrap my hair with a silk scarf and silk bonnet. Oh, it only gets better with time, ladies. Let me know how this routine turns out for you. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. I will talk to you beauties later. Mwah.